Do you mind sharing your NPF experience? Yeah, so I, uh, in 2017, I was, I, dra I was drafted second overall to the Akron Racers. Um, I came off of a pretty emotional season, um, being at Minnesota in 2017. A lot of stuff happened in the postseason to us. We, um, we didn't get to host. We kind of got sent to a hard regional in general. And then, I yeah. mean, I've gone, and I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not over it. Yeah, um, it sounds still pretty It fresh. was heartbreaking, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, you can call it what, it what it was. It was bullshit. Yeah. It was a bunch yeah. of bullshit. You said it, not me. But, <laughs> I mean, it was pretty sad because it just – not saying like we still had to win but we just weren't set up to win and we weren't set up for success and I think a lot of people who have played college softball knows how important that that postseason is and the way that it's set up so we weren't set up for success by any means um so it came off of that season just being like an emotional wreck I had pitched a bunch of innings I was just tired and yeah to go from one set of rules in college. And then I was also playing with the national team at this point too. So I made a, like an agreement where I would play both. So I kind of traveled back and forth. So going from college with one set of rules to the national team with another set of rules to pro where there's not a lot of rules at all. <laughs> like you're just kind of figuring it out on your own. I was just like all over the place. And to be honest, that was like one of the worst seasons that I've had with the national team with I had a terrible season in the pro league like I thought it just wasn't for me it was just a lot of softball and a lot of traveling I was going through like a rocky time in the relationship I was in it just like was a terrible experience so I came out of that summer with obviously a super sour taste in my mouth about the pro league and I know I mean I wanted to play the following year but I knew that I had to kind of be committed to one thing I was being pulled in too many different directions yeah so not, I, not only yeah. that sorry to interrupt you it's all um, good um but you just like you didn't get a proper ending to a, a storied career you know and not time to grieve uh many losses not just like the loss of being able to play for Minnesota but like a dream that you had um is gone and then you basically get like what a week week and a half turn around and like I had like seven days yeah, yeah. pack up your shit like, okay, and like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like okay sounds good and you, I, yeah just Go. I think you said it I didn't get to really experience all those emotions all those feelings and then just being like sent off to Akron Ohio where I mean that team we I think we were last like we didn't win a lot and it was just like a mess so just to be it was just a mess let's I explained that season as a mess it was not fun um but yeah I'm grateful for like I've learned so much from that season I still talk about it in general not just in the pro league but just in general that year was shit so just coming <laughs> back next season and then actually in 2018 that's when I got sick so it's like what else can go wrong kind of thing but um yeah so 18, 2018 I focused mainly on the national team because I was like you know what if I'm gonna do this if I'm gonna try to help my team qualify for the Olympics I gotta be full in like all in with this team and the pro league can wait like I can play pro softball after the Olympics is done if I would I would hope but um but yeah so I went all in with the national team and um yeah that's kind of how it went and then I came back I guess last season in 2019 with the wild we were lucky enough to partner with the NPF with the national team so um we were based out of Marion and at first like when you hear that you're going to a small town like that you're like oh my goodness like come on why couldn't it be in like California or you know somewhere where you want to spend a lot of time but I am so grateful that we got sent to that city because it was perfect the support was unreal um we the way we were received was awesome. It felt very family oriented, like just super awesome. And they knew what they were doing. They had already run a baseball club out of 
their facility. So they knew exactly what they were doing. Um, fan support was unreal, like I said, and we enjoyed our time. And unfortunately this year, we're not going, um, not going to be playing, but I think it's what's best for our team and, you know, for the safety of our team and softball can be put on hold. Like we can always come back to the game when everything's ready. So it sucks that I don't get another year in the, in the NPF, but I mean, it is what it is. I can't really control what's going on in the world. And unfortunately none of us can. So, yeah. Yeah. 